Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Halo. Last time, uh, we met a weird parasitic life form that wants to kill us, and then some friendly robots who apparently want to help us. Before we can activate the installation. Okay, welcome to the library. Um, the library is notorious, but I'm not going to say why just yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right off the bat, we're actually going to meet uh, a new type of enemy over there. That's a, a new type of flood, the carrier form. Uh, and so these guys will sort of shamble towards you, and once they get close, they will explode into a bunch of infection forms. That explosion is also not weak. That is comparable to a grenade. They're, uh, they're pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> this sassy little guy. <laughs> uh, so much fun. <laughs> and he doesn't seem to mind, though. I think that's great. Yeah, he's just like, excuse me. <laughs> that right there is a good uh, example of why the pistol's not great for fighting Flood. Uh, my aim is actually pretty good, but one bullet per infection form is just not, not ammo efficient, and we're gonna need a lot of bullets. Mm-hmm. I thought you were just showing off your aim there. No. A little bit. I just haven't had a chance to pick up a different weapon yet. I think I was waiting for a shotgun. I think that's one of the, uh, the cool things about the Flood, actually, is that they're almost walking ammo dumps. They're annoying to kill, but they'll sort of... If you fight a crowd of them, by the end of it, you'll have all sorts of weapons lying around that you can pick up or rearm yourself with. The energy field of problems gets really intense. Couldn't have teleported us a little closer? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. Uh, I'm going to take a look at it now. That right there is actually the index. It is not above us. Um, but we have no way to reach it without that elevator. I'm also out of ammo, which I guess goes directly against my point a minute ago about how there's lots of ammo. There's lots of ammo for various guns. Th there is, and I guess the other thing is, with carrier forms exploding all over the place, uh, the physics in this game will actually launch weapons on the ground. And if it launches them far enough, I think they just despawn. So if you uh. set off carrier forms, you might lose all that ammo. Yeah, you just got like 400 bullets there. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't think we're gonna be able to avoid. Oh, sorry. I I want you to talk about this guy. Yeah. I see so, what you did there. <laughs> this is what Cletus was talking about in the last video. Uh, if you shoot off uh, the flood, the combat forms arms, uh, they can't hurt you because they need arms in order to hold a weapon or take a swipe at you. So instead, 
uh, they just follow you around. And these are called Flood Buddies. <laughs> <laughs> and they're Missing super creepy. his head and his arms. But yes, you can amass a whole crowd of Flood Buddies to follow you around, which is kind of funny. <laughs> until you get into a fight, and then they just add to the confusion. But, uh, oh, the head is missing too? Yeah, yeah that's pretty nasty. Uh, the infection great. form you can actually see in their chest, because it actually burrows in and taps directly into their spine. Just uh, super gross. So what I was going to say was we can't really avoid the fact that this is like a infectious pandemic. <laughs> yes. And, uh, how that would play out in, with today's uh, population. <laughs> I think you'd have a lot of people saying the flood is uh, fake. Right. It's my right to let an infection form burrow into my chest. Yeah. Guilty Spark is trying to microchip you. <laughs> <laughs> God. You brought such ineffective weapons to combat the flood, despite the containment protocols. Throughout the level, Guilty Spark's gonna chime in with uh, comments like that. Um, negging? <laughs> they are basically negging us, yeah. So, like, shit talking our weapons um, is mean, for one thing, uh, but it implies <laughs> that. He knows of better options, but he kind of doesn't actually bother telling us what they are. You can see how the bodies. Did you guys hear any of that? Or did you yeah. have to read the subtitles? I was reading it. <laughs> That's why I'm really yeah. glad they're subtitles. Um, but he also does give us some very interesting information on the Flood. So I, I already mentioned mm -hmm. some of that last yeah. video, but this is where you would find anything out about them. If you can hear him, that is. Or read well. Massacring Flood. Yeah. I wanted to point out here, uh, there are arrows on the ground, just like there were in Assault on the Control Room. Uh, they actually weren't there in the original. Uh, they added those in as part of the graphical update. Yeah, because if you got spun around, then this level might be kind of boring. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, might be. I think the problem is just that in the original, your only option is to follow Guilty Spark. But he does have a habit of disappearing for a while, in which case you just have to kind of wander. So the arrows are, are pretty helpful. I'm trying to keep this flood buddy here alive. Oh, there we go. Oh, nope, not quite. There, a covenant flood buddy. Yeah, he's not supposed oh, to be able to fuck? do that. <laughs> there, now it's recognizes he has no arms. <laughs> now walk them over the glass and break it. I should have done that. That would have been great. Because, yeah, that glass is breakable, and you can fall down it, which is a terrible way to lose progress in this level. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess now is the time where we can say it. This level <laughs> is... <laughs> this level is infamous because... Every single hallway looks just like the ones we've been fighting through. And there's three levels to the level. So the entire video, the entire level is just us fighting through 
the same hallways. It's a little monotonous. It is. I just said, yeah, last last video, like how varied the terrain is. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much the exception. Uh huh. I mean, Pillar of Autumn, you know, had all samey hallways, but I don't know. I guess they were varied enough to be interesting. Um, the library is not like that. All the hallways look yeah, the same. Yeah. There is no real interesting detail to set them apart. And that's okay. Like it's a it's a giant symmetrical like sphere like circular thing, right? Like Yeah. It, what else are you going to do with it? Yeah. It's sort of like what I was saying about the the level design is that it totally makes sense why it's all the same. It's just super uninteresting to play through. Yeah. Sure is. Um, and the only real enemy we're going to fight is Flood. And they are scary and they suck to fight. <laughs> and they're non-stop. Yeah. I, I think there are sections of this level that have infinitely respawning enemies. I'm not 100% sure of that. But if they're not infinite, it's long enough to be super annoying. I guess I never mentioned when I picked it up. Uh, Covenant plasma weapons actually work quite well against the Flood. Um, playing it now, it's kind of got a dead space feel to it, using plasma weapons to shoot off their arms. Uh, but it does actually work quite well. That controlled fire of the plasma rifle. Look at my crowd of flood oh buddies. My no, the <laughs> sentinels. Uh, okay, I guess no. I should mention the robots are called sentinels. Um, they don't share our love of flood buddies, so no, they will still kill them. All right, Robits, you do the work now. Hm. Yeah. Um, they're not effective enough that you can just stand back and let the Sentinels do all the work. A whole crowd of them like this, they're, they're not bad, but uh, the Flood can actually kill them fairly easily. The Sentinels can use their weapons to manage the Flood only for a short time. Speed is of the essence. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It's almost like you should have had notes ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did not have notes for this recording session. We're winging it. Uh, um, although, feels more organic. organic. No, hold on. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Geez. Do you want to know the biggest bullshit? The Flood can carry <laughs> rocket launchers. Oh. <laughs> uh. I didn't I want resisted. to bring it up. No. I resisted yeah. that last episode, too. Yeah. They are deadly accurate with the rocket launcher, and often you just you don't see it coming until you've already exploded. It is the worst. Oh. <laughs> if that wants to land right at my feet, I guess I'll pick it up. Oh, jeez. Are you finished yet? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I really wish he could have just teleported us up to the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or just I, gone up there and brought it down for you. So he can't. I'll, yeah. Um, he need, He's not allowed to. Mm. I guess I shouldn't say too much about that, but um, I guess it's sort of a protection. Uh, the caretaker of the installation is not allowed to access its weapon functions. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, so yeah. here's the other thing about <laughs> the library. In the original graphics, uh, it was very bland. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> it still is, but... <laughs> yeah, it still is, but there's just more detail to it. Thank you. 
now might be a good time to talk about Guilty Spark there. Uh, so his name, 343 Guilty Spark, um, that is because Bungie is obsessed with the number 7. So 343 is 7 cubed. Ah, and very actually, auspicious. Yes, once you know um, that they're obsessed with the number 7, it actually shows up all over the place in their Halo games. Uh, so, like, just off the top of my head, uh, next time I'm carrying a pistol, there is something engraved on the top of the pistol, and that is a Japanese number seven. And yeah, just all sorts of other things. They hid a bunch of numerology junk in their games. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna do what? Whoa. Yeah, I feel like like uh, Guilty Spark really should just sit us down and you know, tell us everything about the flood <laughs> instead of just these random comments with no context. Singing and like talking about what a genius yes. they are. Yeah, I, I don't know if we've been able to hear too much of that so far, but he does hum little tunes to himself constantly. Miss! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to burn ammo for that thing. Yeah. As much so fun as the rocket launcher. Yeah. It's also not all that effective unless you're shooting it at a crowd of flood. Or trying to kill yourself. Yeah, or that. <laughs> I feel like you've been down this hallway before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think this is two levels down, one to go. If you ever watch a speedrun of this game, like with commentary, you can like hear like the sigh, like, all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what the speedrunning trick was for this level. It's been a while since I watched that video. Uh, the one with no clipping, like... Uh, yeah, just no clip like through the walls. Yeah. yeah, you just have to go through it. Hmm. Just don't stop. conjecture that the other species currently on the installation is responsible for releasing the flood. They seem most persistent in their attempts to access restricted areas. Yeah, that sounds like the Covenant. So this is one of those places I was talking about where 343 Guilty Spark just disappears. Uh, and you have to find this tunnel all on your own. Shotguns can be pretty deadly too. In I've, I've definitely been killed by zombies with shotguns. Yeah, yeah. The the flood with shotguns. Once they get up close to you, like I think the shotgun can kill you in one hit from close up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I get lost here for a minute because I wasn't paying attention to the arrows on the ground. Always keep those slopes on your right. Well, not right now. <laughs> like, if you want to go the right way. <laughs> well. No, nah, that's right. It's not right. No, the hallways don't always make... A lot of sense. Yeah, this is the part where um, they normally do donations 
uh, games done quick. Oh, really? Because. <laughs> Because you can actually just hide in the corner of this part and, like... That's um, actually not this one. Oh, it's, oh, sorry. No, no worries. It, it, said, just, it said hold your position. It's true. It There's a valid sort of strategy for fighting the flood in this level is to find a place where they don't know you are and just hide. Because otherwise they're just going to keep coming. So what I'd do. Yep. There are a couple places where it's pretty easy to actually do that. So, I mean, again there, Guilty Spark, the last catastrophic outbreak? Do you want to fill us in here? Uh, yeah. That could be useful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, none of this would happen if they just wore their mask and then, uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't actually know too much about the infection forms, but they must be pretty strong because all the marines are wearing chest armor and they punch right through it. Acids or something. I think yeah, that's, maybe. Yeah. Like, uh, what is that movie? The Alien. Oh, yeah. Acid blood. So that's actually kind of a cool uh, little bit of explanation. This entire installation is to study the flood. I mean, maybe that. Uh, that explains all the varied environments that they're trying to see how the flood reacts oh, to them. Yeah. I don't know. That makes sense. All the environments they tried are Earth-like, though. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's that's a fairly good point. Although maybe there's just, there really isn't, I don't know, that many different possible environments other than the ones we see on Earth. Unless we're talking like... Extremes? Yeah, like, what is it, mm -hmm. acid rain or, on Venus? Uh-huh. <laughs> that kind of thing. Th this is the part where you can just hide. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's just time that... Uh... Yeah, that corner right back there. Although... It's a little bit risky because if a carrier form happens to see you and wanders in, uh, yeah, there can be some pretty big explosions. Mm -hmm. One thing though, like when there's enough zombies or enough flood, like the carrier forms will take out all the other ones. Yeah. So like if you get enough of them, it's just like actually good. Mm -hmm. And uh, that kind of damage, like explosion damage, I guess, uh, they rarely get up from it. So actually trying to detonate carrier forms to take out combat forms is a uh, is really good strategy. Thanks for the help, guys. Hmm. Oh, finally. Almost there. <laughs> hmm. 
three elevators. I guess that means technically there's four levels we have to fight through. Yep, fourth floor. Tools, guns, keys to super weapons. I think you've only mentioned those once, the chapter titles that show up at the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, they are often quite funny. <laughs> Yeah, they have a little sass to them, like, but wait, it gets worse was one of the yeah. ones. Sometimes they're serious, sometimes they're not. I always liked sort of Bungie's sense of humor with that stuff. Mm hmm Did that one just fall and drop its gun? Yeah, like I don't, I didn't think they could take fall damage, but yeah, that certainly looks like what happened to him. That's very funny. Uh. Hmm. Uh, you might have noticed the arrows on the ground actually point towards this tunnel instead of towards the door, but I know in some of my practice runs, I stood there for several minutes waiting for them to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> because there's no other indication that that door is going to be different than the several others we've encountered. Yeah, that's the line that Swordfish was talking about before. It's uh, it's kind of a red flag, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> if someone out loud tells themselves that they're a genius, that is mad scientist levels of <laughs> red flag. I, I don't even think scientists, like, I know there's like something called the MacArthur Genius Grant. Okay. And... I've definitely heard like podcasts where they're like, oh, so so you're a genius then because they won it. And they're like, well, I mean, I won the award, but that's like weird. <laughs> don't don't call me a genius. <laughs> right. Only narcissists call themselves geniuses. Uh huh. That animation, man. Yeah, very unsettling. They are just so creepy. What was the... There was, like, a movie where you could have zombies as pets? Uh, the end of Shaun of the Dead is like that. Oh, yeah. There's, there's another one, too, that I saw in theaters, but, yeah. Okay, so that was what I was mentioning last video about the Flood being smart. Uh, they are smart enough to be repairing a starship because they want to get off this ring. I feel like sometimes that's just not... It doesn't come across well enough in the gameplay just how smart yeah. the Flood actually is. Not smart enough to shoot there and finish you off, though. Yeah, so I, I guess that's sort of what I meant, is that individually they don't seem smart, and they don't act smart, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, but I guess the Flood sort of as a collective uh, is smart. Anyway, uh, that's the elevator right there. So we are so close to being done. Uh, at this point, I'm pretty much just going to run to the end because we are going to get mobbed. And uh, I very, very nearly screw myself right here. Oh, <laughs> the energy barrier surrounding the Invex will deactivate when we reach the ground floor. You may 
now retrieve the index. Protocol requires that I take possession of the index for transport. Your organic form renders you vulnerable to infection. The index must not fall into the hands of the flood before we reach the control room and activate the installation. The flood is spreading. We must hurry. And there we go. We're done with the library. We never have to come back. <laughs> it's probably fine that he just yanked it from us. Yoink. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little pushy, isn't he? Uh huh. Um, anyway, uh, that's going to be the end of the video. There is not going to be any bonus content for this video. We are just getting out of here. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>